Back at the Superstars, Francine Barth has been an organizer for this event since it began in 1973. As she totals up the points prior to the start of the half-mile run. Standing show, Dusty Dvorak, the leader. Five runners are ready to go, and they're with Ahmad Rashad now. All right, you know, with, with the competition we got here, we'd have one whale of a relay team, but a 440-yard relay team. But this is the half-mile, James, your strategy coming in here. This wasn't a smart move on my part. I mean, I could be at home watching this on television, but here I am, caught in the middle of all this shame and embarrassment. Yeah, but you have the fastest time of everybody in this event. Like I said, it was foolish. <laughs> <laughs> Carl Lewis. All right. Your strategy. Uh, I'm going to try to follow James, and hopefully everyone else will follow them. And <laughs> just see how it comes out. This is going to be one race. Willie Galt, this is uh, your specialty here, isn't it? No. You know it's not. I'm a sprinter. I'm not. I've told you time and time. How many times do I have to tell you? Yeah, but I've been touting you, man. Are you going to come alive here now? You've been what? what? Touting me? <laughs> Are you coming alive now? No. Rick and Morris is still selling in. <laughs> Look out for Mr. Rig over there. Oh, yeah, I know I'm perfect. This is an event that you've got to do well in. We've talked about the strategy. This is the one you want to do well. Yeah, um, I, I skipped it in the uh, preliminary rounds because I felt confident in my other performances. And uh, it's coming down to I have to do or die in every performance here on out. And uh, the first two guys, Carl and James, are going to make it tough. But, you know, I guarantee the point. All right. <laughs> Dusty? Those are four of the fastest men in the entire world. Not to shake your confidence at all, but do you have some confidence in this race? Well, you said we have a great relay team here. Where do I come in? Am I, am I the coach? I'm the coach. Carl Lewis still feels the sting of heavy criticism he received at the 84 Olympics. As I was being brought up, my parents always said, well, set your mind on something and try to achieve it. And at the time during the Olympic Games, uh, everybody around me, I mean, whether it's press, just fans, everybody was saying, Carl, you should do this, Carl, you should do this, Carl, you should do this. But there was only one person and just two or three others that were able to make that decision, my coach and myself and some others. So I had to decide what was best for me in order to win the gold medals and to compete the best I possibly could because I knew everybody else would eventually get over it. And <laughs> they might not have been happy about some of the decisions I made at the time. And, to say I was absolutely perfect and did everything correct is, is impossible to say no one is. But I feel overall I made some good decisions. I was able to win the medals. And the people that knew me were able to look at me the same way. And now the people that didn't know me are starting to look at me the way I really am. So Carl and the other competitors ready now for the half mile run. This is a tough event. You never know quite what is going to happen. If they're going to go out hard or they're going to go real slow for the first quarter mile. It looks like they're running at a pretty good pace. Right now, James Lofton, the class in this field, he won this event in the preliminaries. A good athlete, former track man turned football player, has got a big lead, and I'm surprised that he's going out that hard. Carl Lewis is starting to make his move now around Dusty Dvorak. Bruce, I must say that of all the athletes that I've ever seen in my life, Carl Lewis is the best all-around athlete that I've ever seen. Now, a lot of people just think he's a great track and field athlete, but in a competition like this, where it tests your agility, your speed, your strength, Carl Lewis has shown me that he can do it all. James Lofton with a big lead right now in this race. Carl Lewis is in second place. You know, we think of Carl after winning four gold medals on the track in the Olympic Stadium, should absolutely walk away from the rest of the field in this event. Well, the training for sprinting and the training for the half mile is totally different, so he's at no advantage. Into the final lap now. James Lofton breezing away from the field. Following him are Carl Lewis, Dusty Dvorak, Ronaldo Nehemiah, and Willie Gall. I think this race is a matter of pride to James Lofton because he comes into this event with just one point. Let me tell you, he's running like he's got one point. He looks absolutely great. I think he would make a competitive half-miler if he wanted to train for it. <laughs> Bruce, now you and I love track and field, but I think he prefers to catch passes for the Green Bay Packers. Well, Carl Lewis is in second place. Dusty Dvorak. Then Nehemiah and Galt. And look out, they have a lot of speed. They're going to make up some ground. But right now, this is James Lofton's race. They're all running for second place as James Lofton with that velvet stride just lengthens his distance on the second place runner. Right now, Carl Lewis holds the second. Ronaldo Nehemiah has moved into third place. Dvorak hanging in, but we'll see for how long as we have a couple of kick runners coming up to their final turn. Boy, let me tell you, here you are with... James Lofton winning an absolutely gorgeous race, but now it becomes a sprinter's race, and we have tons of speed. Probably Dvorak's in the worst shape. He doesn't have as much speed, but here we have Carl Lewis, the fastest human in the world, 
Willie Galt's pretty close, and he's coming up hard on Lewis as they vie for second. Carl Lewis hits the tape second. Willie Galt was third. Ronaldo Nehemiah finished fourth. And Dusty Dvorak, who hung in most of the way, ends up fifth and last. But really, from the very outset, it was James Lofton all the way, and he's with Bruce right now at the finish line. 203 is a good time. Not bad. I can tell I'm getting a little older, though, Bruce. <laughs> How much older? About three seconds older. <laughs> and 10 points richer, as that's what he got for winning the half-mile run. Right now, we're coming up to the final two events. There's